Welcome to Oncology Data Advisor. Today, I'm joined by Tony Ellis, who is the Executive Director of the Oncology Nursing Certification Corporation. Thanks so much for coming on today, Tony. Thanks for having me. So to start off, what is the mission of ONCC? Well, ONCC's primary purpose is to promote health and safety by validating the competence, the knowledge and experience, and ensuring lifelong learning in oncology, nursing, and related specialties. So at ONS Congress, ONCC unveiled its new logo. Uh, what does this design represent? Well, our new brand and brand story was really intended to embrace um, the passion and the purpose behind oncology nurses and the profession of oncology nursing. And our new visual look, especially with our iconic O or ring, um, with all of its different vibrant colors is intended to represent both all the different colors that are used to represent the different cancers, as well as the diversity of the roles that oncology nurses and, and other care providers play in the care of patients with cancer and the diversity in our nursing community at, uh, itself. Great. Um, so what is the benefit for nurses of becoming ONCC certified? Certification through ONCC as an oncology certified nurse or through one of our other certifications is voluntary. But what we find and what we hope uh, is that nurses will seek this certification to validate their specialty knowledge and ability in the care of patients with cancer. Um, you know, by law, you only are required to have an RN license, but it takes so much more uh, to understand and, and be able to deliver top quality care, safe care to patients with cancer, especially with the pace of change and the treatment modalities and, and other aspects of cancer care. So um, studying and validating that experience, ability, and knowledge through certification really is paramount to, to provide the best care for patients. Definitely. So for nurses who are interested, what are the steps for becoming certified? Well, I think the first steps is to take a look at our, at our new exciting website and the eligibility criteria for the certification that they might be interested in or that best suits their role in oncology care. Uh, and see what it is that's required uh, to be able to sit for the exam and work towards that. Uh, once that's available uh, or, or met, they can take a look at their timeline, see when they can sit for the exam, gather their materials uh, for the application and start preparing. Most people prepare for uh, at least three, if not six to nine months before they sit for the exam, just to give themselves plenty of time to pace out their review and, and study of areas they might not be as familiar in um, before they turn in their application. Once your application is approved, you get a 90-day window uh, authorization to test uh, to both schedule and sit for the exam. So you want to make sure that you know they start studying before they turn in their application necessarily. Um, anything else I'd like to mention for nurses who are uh, considering becoming certified? I guess, you know, I, I didn't come from healthcare. I came from higher education. There's a lot of similarities uh, between healthcare and, and higher education, actually. But I think one thing that's most similar in my 30 plus years of experience in certification is that nobody likes to take tests. Uh, there's a high level of, of fear and concern uh, about taking tests. Most of us haven't taken a test in a very long time unless you know, you're a brand new nurse and you just finished the NCLEX not long ago. Uh, and there's a lot riding on it. So I, I think uh, as best you can to set that aside and think of what's in the best interest for you and your career, as well as your patients and their care they're receiving, and go ahead and jump in, make a plan, um, start to study, and maybe even partner with your supervisor or a colleague uh, for a study plan and to set a date. That's the most important thing, because once you have that milestone, you'll work towards it and, and achieve it. Awesome. That's great to know. So thank you so much for coming on today and explaining all of this. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.